Police pay rates have been a topic of discussion for some time now in the city of Prestonsburg. I talked with Chief of Police Ross Shirtliff and Mayor Rick Hughes today about that very topic. Prestonsburg Police Department has been operating with officers earning less than those in neighboring cities. Police Chief Ross Shirtliff says the fallout from this has been officers considering jobs elsewhere. So, he said a pay raise was his answer. For some time, uh, especially during Mayor Hughes' administration, one of the, the issues that has been uh, um, brought up and looked at and analyzed at, at all depths has been um, our pay scale specifically with the police department. Uh, and more specific than that, with our, able to, our ability to compete with likes like-sized and like-abled uh, police departments, and that's an issue that we faced for, for some time now, um, was recruitment and retention. Mountaintop News began investigating police wages in Pikeville, Prestonsburg, and Paintsville in early October, filing open records requests with each city asking for officers' pay rates. At that time, Prestonsburg was the lowest at about $10 an hour to start compared to Pikeville's starting hourly rate of around $23 an hour. Up to $600 off select devices, and that makes this the season of saving and upgrading at Appalachian Wireless with a new or renewed line on any Appalachian Advantage unlimited plan. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. However, before our reporting was complete, Prestonsburg Mayor Rick Hughes gave officers raises as high as $11,000 more a year in a staff meeting Wednesday afternoon. Mountaintop News spoke with Hughes that same afternoon and set an interview with him for the following day. That's what I look for. I feel you, you, you earn the greatest, you know, it's not a monetary thing, it's, it's a respect thing. And, and being a veteran, I will say this, you know, as far as it coming to wages, as uh, Chief Shirtman said, you can't put an amount on anybody's life. Uh, I mean, plain and simple, uh, you, do, you do your job because you love it. And it doesn't matter if it's the police or one of the other departments. You do your job because you love it and you want to support your family. Shirtliff also addressed what he called rumors about late officer Jacob Chaffins, one of the officers killed in the shootout in Allen on July 31, 2022, earning $10 an hour at the time of his death. He went into his records to show that Chaffins was making about $15 an hour at that time. This, after pension, overtime, training incentives, and certification, brought his yearly earnings to roughly $50,000. You're never going to be able to pay a police officer enough. Um, these guys that are out here working nights, weekends, holidays, Christmas, uh, they're sacrificing that time with their family. And uh, like I've told a couple people, the guys, especially those who gave their life, but the guys that drove across the bridge into Allen in 2022, you couldn't pay them a million dollars a year and it'd be enough for what they were driving into. Reporting from Mountaintop News, I'm Sheldon Compton.